So we're here at Stanford University in California working on a project that is completely unique for the bus. In case you don't already know, we travel the country with this thing for 10 months out of every year, working with students of all ages and all ability levels, giving them free, hands-on opportunities to create original multimedia art. With the help of the Learning Games Network and eight local students, the London Bus has taken part in a two-day game jam right here on campus. The goal of which is to create a game that promotes education, sustainability, and peace. By getting uh, young people to think about not only games for entertainment, but actually designing games and going through the process of putting together challenges, they actually develop a greater understanding about certain kinds of issues because they're having to look at something from 360 degrees um, and anticipate what a player is going to do in gameplay. And so we find that to be a really valuable activity to kind of reinforce the things that they're trying to learn. We only have like 48 hours to work on this game. But I, I personally think that it will be very um, different and special. There's kind of two sides of this project. Obviously, it's to kind of help kids understand game design and kind of understand that process and all of the different people and parts that go into it. And it's also to kind of create something that will raise awareness and kind of do some external good. This game is mainly about balancing your resources, um, finding a balance between dedicating resources to new technologies and, and putting money and resources into your crops, and also paying back your loans and, and dealing with other um, you know, unexpected disasters that come up along the way. Right now I'm laying out all the steps for the game. We have to start with the intro um, and tell the programmers specifically what to do, each step, each button, where to put it what it should say, so it's a very detailed process. Right now I'm making the um, icon for when you open the app. I think that this is going to be a real like creative and palpable experience. I am researching um, obstacles, so when you're farming, for example, there could be a flood and then you'll lose some of your crop output. So I'm looking for pictures and text to go with those messages. My game creation experience is very limited, so I would have to say this is probably the biggest project I've ever done. It's more about learning how what, what your challenges really are. You have to like look at what you can do in two days and remind them of the design constraints and um, constantly kind of keep them within scope. You can throw out a lot of great ideas, but it's sort of synthesizing those ideas, bringing them together and trying to make something that's playable and fun and also feasible. Our job as the developers to say, wow, these are awesome ideas, but right now we need to scale this back a little bit. We need to sleep this weekend too, so. I don't feel there's a huge movement to really get kids interested in computer sciences, and computer science is like a huge deal. I think anyone who doesn't recognize that like doesn't live in the real world. So it's 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 good to have like that exposure, and it really does feel good to me to kind of be able to give that back. I'm having a great time here. I mean, it's amazing the bus, the everyone here, having a great time. I'm so proud of myself and I'm so proud of the team because we really pulled through and we didn't have much time but we just, we did a lot I think and so I'm really happy. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoyed watching the programmers program and do their thing and hanging out on the London bus is a lot of fun with all the cool guys. It was just a really fun thing to do, it was fun to kind of have a project where we got to work with kids and have a little bit different experience. I am just amazed at how much a collection of people can do in two days. It was amazing to walk into the bus today and think, wow, I walked into this bus for the first time 48 hours ago with no idea what we were going to create, and here I am two days later with an amazing product.